In the fall of 1943, America began a major campaign against the Japanese defenses in the Central Pacific. Over 35,000 U.S. Marines and Naval forces were assembled for an invasion. On November 20th, America launched an amphibious assault against one of the most heavily fortified Japanese islands in the world, Tarawa. On board a Higgins landing craft, Ensign Leon Cooper was responsible for the lives of hundreds of men. For the thousands of Marines riding to the shores that morning, no one could imagine the ferocity of the battle to come or the death and destruction they would soon face. In February of 2008, Leon Cooper, a Navy veteran of the Tower of Battle, and a film crew left Los Angeles on a journey that took 65 years. How much? That's too much. <laughs> it's going to be about an 11-hour flight uh, to uh, a town called uh, Nandi in Fiji. While doing research, for my recent book, uh, The War in the Pacific, a retrospective, uh, I happened across a, uh, an Associated Press report that uh, said, in effect, uh, where hundreds of Marines died, there are now millions of plastic bags, crumpled paper boxes. And when I saw that, of course, uh, since I had been a party to, uh, uh, or a witness to all of the killings that took place, I felt especially uh, uh, and a need to do something about this. I was at home uh, in my uh, parents' uh, apartment building in Chicago. I remember so well uh, that uh, dramatic announcement. Uh, it uh, really shook me up as well as uh, practically all of America, including uh, all the big shots in Washington. Imagine a tiny country like Japan uh, attacking uh, our Pacific fleet in Pearl Harbor, but and indeed, uh, for all intents and purposes, making America the giant a feeble midget. Since the unprovoked and dastardly attack by Japan on Sunday, December 7th, 1941, a state of war has existed between the United States and the Japanese Empire. The phone rang, it was my brother. And uh, my brother said, Lee, uh, he was trying to decide whether to order me to get out of the country <laughs> or uh, to find a safer occupation than being a, uh, a, an infantryman. So it was his thought that uh, I should become an officer rather than a dog face. And of course, I had known at the time about uh, a, an elite uh, Navy officer's training program called V-7. So I volunteered for it. Within 90 days, civilian Leon Cooper would become Navy Ensign Leon Cooper and begin training as an amphibious boat commander. Taro was a series of coral reef atolls in the Gilbert Island Group strategically located halfway between the Hawaiian Islands and the Philippines. The Gilbert Islands had been under the jurisdiction of the British government until December 9, 1941. Two days after the attack on Pearl Harbor, Japanese soldiers came ashore at Beishio, the governing island atoll of Tarawa, and proclaimed it for the emperor. Both sides understood the necessity to control islands across the Pacific. The American command's tactical approach dated back to Teddy Roosevelt's assessment of World Sea Diplomacy, devised for the late 19th century. Roosevelt always believed that if the U.S. was to contain Japanese expansion, they would need to command strategic island bases across the Pacific. The basic strategy was developed by Teddy Roosevelt when he was Assistant Secretary of the Navy. Uh, he decided the best uh, course of action for the United States to do was to set up a series of coaling, coaling, that's where you uh, ships coal in those days, uh, coaling stations, uh, or, uh, a span of islands across the Mid Pacific. And that would be the stepping stones to victory in Japan in the event that uh, Japan would strike first, and indeed they did. 
The Japanese conscripted over 4,100 Korean slave laborers to build up Beishio's defenses, as well as a small airstrip. They sent in over 2,600 cracked Japanese Imperial Marines to defend her. Massive fortifications were built, including giant pillboxes, some over 17 feet in height, 10 large 8-inch gun emplacements, field artillery, and anti-aircraft guns. 